So have you ever started a project and not quite finished it? I know I have. Sometimes this happens and it can be a real mess. So we had a house up on Laird Avenue. I think it was 11, maybe it was 1183, 1187. Uh, Laird down in, in Salt Lake. And the guy was an architect and he had great big dreams for what he wanted to do with this house. So he thought, I'm gonna start. And he pulled the drywall off the walls, pulled the flooring up. So basically when you walked in, you saw a bunch of studs, you know, the framing for the house. You saw a few holes in the roof because the roof wasn't good. And on the floor you could see from one level to another because the wood wasn't complete on the flooring in there. And so when he did that, he realized that there were some problems structurally with the foundation and with the house. And he didn't have enough money to finish the project. So he's kind of in a mess. So we were able to come in, buy that house, fix it up, sell it at a profit, and pay him for the equity that he had. So most houses can't sell very well if, you, if they can't get financing. And you need to have flooring and you know have the house be livable to get a standard financing package. So this time we were able to solve his problem and buy the property and fix the issues that he couldn't afford to. And we were able to make money he was able to make money and everything worked out that way. So if you've got a project that you're in the middle of, we just had another uh, friend of mine who has been trying to remodel a house for 10 years and hasn't pulled it off yet and they're trying to sell. So if you're in that situation, please give us a, a call. We'll be happy to look at your house and offer you the most money we possibly can. Thank you.